Hi mate, how are you? Oh, brilliant. Cool. Look, I'm, I'm just getting hold of you. I've just bought a new pair of DHB bib tights and also some Castelli ones. Um, I've got to be honest mate, Castelli have done it again. They've they seemingly changed their sizing very slightly since last time. I've held on to these bib tights now since last year when I bought them in the sale. We never tried them on. Um, it's been it's been ages now, so it's about 10 months. Large fitted me the last time I bought these. Um, anyway, short of it is, do you want them? <laughs> and welcome to Time for Bites. In this episode, we are going to compare two different pairs of bib tights, one from Castelli and one from DHB. There is a £70 difference between the two, so surely one is better than the other. Let's delve in and have a look. So first up, here is some information provided by the company about their product. So first up is the Castelli Surpasso 2 bib tights with a recommended price of £160. Thermoflex Core 2 fabric has been included over the thighs and the back of the legs for extra protection without any restriction to movement, while a 3D band has been added to the lower back to give additional comfort and support, which noticeably reduces fatigue over longer distances. Castelli uses its Progetto X2 Air Pad, which is both seamless to prevent irritation on your undercarriage while also being relatively small to also prevent intrusion. The YKK Camlock ankle zips make putting and securing the Surpasso 2 bib types quick and easy. The addition of the reflective zip covers brings an element of safety in low light conditions. So onto the DHB Aeron FLT Rubere bib tights. They have an RRP of £90. DHB's flashlight technology, FLT, is all about considering placement of high quality reflective details in areas you need them most. Using knowledge gained from producing the flashlight commuter collection, DHB is now incorporating these industry leading technologies into their performance road cycling collections. The Paris HP pad used here is precision engineered from two densities of high performance foam, positioned to give you the right amount of padding where you need it, but without any excess bulk. The result is a 21st century chamois pad used for road and cross country use, designed to keep you comfortable even on rides approaching seven hours in length. DHB have made sure you're protected and warm in the cold weather by using the Italian Rubery fleece back from the leading fabric mill of Mitty. Zips have been removed from the ankle to create a sleeker look, more flexible and avoid doubling up on zips when wearing overshoes. So guys, uh, I was going to do this review on a bike, but to be honest with you, it is so cold out today and so icy, I couldn't get out for my morning winter ride. So I'll probably do a little bit of training indoors later. But so we can summarize these two bib tights against one another and sort of compare their good and bad points and hopefully draw to some sort of conclusion as to what would be the better buy. So uh, start off with, uh, we're going to be looking at price. So price for the Castelli ones, about £160, full price, but you can usually get them a bit cheaper, and especially like I did, I found them in the sale at the end of the season, and they worked out somewhere between £80 and £90. Pounds. I can't remember quite, because that was like 12 months ago, uh, when I bought them in the sale. 
Um, but anyway, I can tell you about the DHB ones. They were reduced from £90 full price down to £63 in a Black Friday deal. Now, obviously, that would, for most of us, I'd say, oh, okay, price, that's good. What about, though, the other points to do with whether these are worth buying or not? And that's when we talk about their performance, for instance. So, price-wise, I'd say DHB has definitely got the first point. Um, however, like I said, if performance is rubbish on those DHB ones or they don't fit very well, then price may not be an issue. But for now, DHB are on top. Okay, so next up is cold weather performance. And by this, we're talking about what's that comfort range that these two types of bib tights can um, go out with you and make you still feel comfortable. Um, so Castelli is between five and 12 degrees and the DHB is six to 14 degrees. Okay, so um, overall, in, in my honest opinion, I've ridden with both a lot. Uh, and I don't think there's any difference between the two. I think they keep you just as comfortable at the temperatures you're usually going to ride within. Remember, if it goes much less than five degrees, the ground's going to be quite frozen. So um, there's kind of as much as you probably need from some winter tights. And when you start getting to that end of the season, when the weather starts to warm up, you're probably looking at maybe sort of risking wearing some shorts anyway. So they're both in a good range. They both seem to perform as well as one another and I don't see there's any issues in terms of performance. And for that reason, they both get a point each. Okay, so point number three we're going to be looking at is the comfort. Now this is one area that really interests me when I'm going to buy uh, bib types, bib shorts, anything. And what we're talking about here is the pad. How does the pad fit? How does it sort of support you? And whether or not it's too thick sometimes or too thin. Now for me, quite often too thin isn't so bad. It's when you get something that's too thick, it tends to cause a big clogging of material um, underneath right in that nasty area which can lead you to then go on and get sort of like a numb feeling um, in, in your bits which you don't really want so um, for me I like something a little bit in the middle I like some good quality comfort a good quality pad to, to give that to me but I certainly don't want anything too bulky and that was a bit of a concern with the DHB when I got the DHB ones they did seem to be quite bulky however Comparing that to the Castelli, Castelli have a really nice pad in there. There's no seams in there at all. It's, it's really well made. Um, and I must admit, I do like the Castelli pad. However, I would say this slightly thicker material is sort of shaped in the right places on the DHB one, but it didn't seem to get in the way. So actually, once again, they have to draw and a point each because they were just as comfortable as one another. Um, and, but over time, I don't know how the DHB one's going to fare. I do know the Castelli one eventually starts to break down, but we're talking you have to put some mega miles on it first. Okay, so another point we're going to be looking at, and that is the material that's used. How good is it? And also, what's the, what are the seams like? Okay, so seams can be quite important because sometimes those seams are a little bit too big or in awkward places. They can cause a bit of rubbing and a bit of annoyance, which I'm happy to say with both of these uh, garments is not an issue. Uh, the seams on the DHB are quite large and people do seem to comment on those and other reviews that I've seen but they don't pose any issues once on wearing them. I've done an 80 mile ride in them already and there's absolutely no problems with them so don't panic about that. The Castelli ones though, when we're talking about the material, are very different to DHB. Castelli are, they seem to have put more time into considering what is needed to look very stylish and they do, they generally do look the part, they do look much much nicer. They've got nice graphics on them as well so those people who do love to have uh, that really nice classy look out on their road bikes will definitely get that from the Castelli. The DHB ones however are a lot more simple um, the materials definitely seemed harder wearing there's not so many seams on it it's not got, sort of got cuts of seams all over the place it's quite a quite a normal sort of bib tight look to them um, but the, the feel of the material because they seem to be like a to me they seem to be a much furrier kind of material inside um, and when you put those DHB ones on they certainly feel comfortable so again they both got their merits here one point each okay so we're on to what I really think is the last bit for us to consider and that is the fit so 
when you buy this product, can you trust it is truly going to fit you? And I do have a big gripe with this one. Um, first and foremost, the uh, Castellis I've had before, and when I bought them before, they were uh, a large. <coughs> so I, I bought the same thing again, I bought a large. I had the original Surpasso uh, bib types by them, and now this is the sort of Mark II, the newer version. And um, they are different. They are very slightly different, but they're slightly different enough that it means that they just don't fit me. They're just too tight. And they're a large. Now I would class myself, I am, I, you know, I'm six foot one, I'm 80 kilos. Uh, for me, that sounds like I'm a large um, in, in Castelli. Um, but saying that, I have had all sorts of sizes of Castelli fit me. Um, I've had mediums fit me, I've had extra large too small for me, I've had larges fit me fine, and then the same product but only a year or so later, just the newer version of the same product has turned out to be too small, too small for me, even buying the same size. So I don't, I, I, I don't know where to go with Castelli. The problem is, is Castelli costs so much money. We quite often, a lot of us, don't go to shops all the time, especially during this time of COVID. We haven't just been able to pop out and go and get um, our items that we need for winter necessarily due to lockdowns and things like that. So we have kind of relied upon online um, online shops. And um, while I know you can send products back, it's all a bit of a faff. For me, I quite like just sort of buying a product that I know from a company that if I buy a large, I've looked at their fit guide online, um, I've worked out what I am, which I've done with both of these products, and uh, it's been sent to me and I get the fit that I was expecting. And that is what DHB delivered. I ordered a large, I got a large, the large fitted me absolutely brilliantly. And there's nothing more to it than that really. Castelli definitely get a thumbs down on their fit. It, for me, and it could be, it could be quite tough because I could differ to other people. It may be that other, other riders don't get this issue. Please leave some comments down below if you totally disagree with this point. Um, but that's the way I feel about it. So for me, DHB wins. Uh, good product. I like it. Um, and thank you guys very much for watching. If you uh, are interested in more reviews such as this, please hit the like and subscribe uh, buttons and uh, follow me on this channel and hopefully you'll get some more quality content that you enjoy. Thanks ever so much guys, take care and happy cycling.